Hi Virgo, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the month of June 2023, where I'll be taking a look at your general energies. All right, Virgo, so let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. What is Virgo's overall energy for the month of June 2023? What is Virgo's overall energy for the month of June 2023? All right, Virgo, we have the Ten of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Cups. Uh, all right, Virgo, without beating around the bush, I'll just get right to the point. With the Ten of Swords, it seems like there is a heavy energy of an ending and a betrayal. Uh, that you're being faced with in the month of June. Now, this is not something, you know, um, recent. The ten, the, the, I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords is, you know, there's Ten Swords on this, uh, this dude's back and, you know, he has his finger up, if you can see. So that's like, we would say V for victory. But basically, you know, you could be feeling like down and out and, like mentally completely over something but you know you could be keeping quiet and with the with the high priestess not saying much and you know i'm really drawn to this 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 gesture here so you could just be showing yourself to be fine virgo but maybe you're not because with the 10 of swords i mean the 10 of swords is a very difficult energy to carry around and you might be feeling betrayed and uh, you know, backstabbed by somebody or a certain group of people, it could be family, friends, co-workers, anybody. And with the Knight of Cups, there is, you know, even though there is this ending here with the Ten of Swords, but with the Knight of Cups, you know, your heart space is open, Virgo, and, uh, you know, you're willing to, uh, you know, extend your heart or your yourself to people and those around you that need you with the knight of cups now this could be a special person that you're extending your love towards or uh, this could be someone even coming towards you in the month of june but you're embodying this energy uh, you know the knight of cups whether it's yours or somebody else's it's in your energy and this could be just happening subconsciously and you know with the high priestess you intuitive you're you're in touch with your intuition Virgo I must uh, say that the high priestess is a major arcana and it usually shows up when our intuition is playing an important role in something and I think your intuition is telling you that even though there's been like a horrible kind of ending you know you need to keep extending yourself and keep moving, you know, because the nights signify movement and the cups signify emotions. So you got to keep moving. That is your, that is what your intuition is telling you. And that is the energy you're embodying, overall energy you're embodying for the month of June. Now let's look at the energy that's crossing you, Virgo. Uh, depending on, depending on the energy that comes up, this could be working for or against you. So let's look at the energy that's crossing you for the month of June 2023. We'll draw three cards. What's the energy that's crossing Virgo for June 2023? So we have three cards. We have four cards. Oh my God, there's five cards that flipped out. We have the chariot, the five of wands. And then we have the star, the sun, and the eight of swords. That's a lot of energy, Virgo, but I'm just going to take it. So uh, with the chariot, I think uh, there is, a, a, there is a, a movement that's coming about in the month of June. Um, Virgo, this could be like a, a literal physical movement where you travel to some place. Or maybe there is an opportunity for you to travel and, uh, you know, you could be conflicted about it with the five of wands. And this is in the position of the energy that's crossing crossing you. So you could actually be, uh, you know, faced with a situation where you're required to move. Now, this is not necessarily 
you know a physical movement in a vehicle this could just be uh, you know a movement in your heart space and your mind space after this ten of swords where you're trying to move forward uh, with a lot of grit but there's conflict there could be people that that are stopping you from moving forward Virgo you know there could be just other forces other people around you that are coming in your way and if it's not other people there's just some conflict within your own spirit about moving forward but with the star and the sun you know these are very positive energies that's crossing you so i think uh, virgo the fact that we started the reading with the ten of swords and you with your you know that you're fine uh, you know the universe is supporting you these are the energies that are crossing you and the star signifies hope you know and direction so you know you have we have the chariot and the star so i think uh, i feel virgo that you are you're determined to move forward and you're hopeful and you have a sense of direction and with the sun there is an overall energy of positivity that the universe is bringing into your life the sun and the star these are major arcanas the chariot as well so you know this is all these are all energies that the universe is bringing to you these are going to be crossing your energy field for the month but there is some conflict it could be you yourself coming in your way or other people and we have the eight of swords as well so i think uh you know this ending has happened um uh, uh virgo you know with the ten of swords this ending has occurred but what's happening the energy that's crossing you is the eight of swords so even though mentally you know that something is over and that you're over it but there is a tendency of you starting to go back you know from the 10 you're going back to the 8 and starting to feel trapped in your mind when actually you know intuitively you know it's done and you got to keep moving uh let's look at the energy that's challenging you virgo for the month of june 2023 what is the energy that's challenging what are the energies that's challenging virgo for june 2023 we get three cards what are the energies that are challenging Virgo? So we have the Page of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. Now uh, Virgo, just a, a very simple message that I'm getting here is that there's two people that's actually challenging you for the month of june one could be a a young spirited person if not actually a child or a younger person but with the page of cups it's it's uh, it's it doesn't depend on the age but it's a new energy it's pages are developing and this is a cup this is it's a cup energy so there's some kind of there's some kind of new emotions that's developing if it is not if it's not another person that you're dealing with the page of cups is something within you is starting to brew and it's a new thing you know relatively new with the page of cups in the developing stages but with the two of pentacles there is you know There's something that you're looking at the pros and cons of. I need to show you what I'm seeing visually. You know, to me, it looks like you're juggling two people, Virgo. There's like, there's like a stable person, the King of Pentacles here. You know, so this is a long-term, stable, well-developed, mature energy that you're engaging with and that's challenging you. And then you have another person page of cups it just could be someone who's, who admires you you know the page of cups often signified beauty so uh, you know there could be someone who just is who just uh, 
is enamored by you and has you know an emotional offer to make and uh, there is a king of pentacles and it looks like with the two of pentacles i think this is the challenge that you're going to be in two minds about something now virgo i don't know if this this, this is two diff if these are two different people or if these are two different aspects within yourself where you're trying to um, maintain you know the page of cups because they're children and younger energies they can signify innocence you know and the childlike um, a childlike psyche and we should not underestimate the mind of the, the psyche of a child because you know, a lot of enlightened people have compared the state of an enlightened mind to that of a mind of a child. So maybe you're just trying to keep your childlike simplicity and innocence within yourself and balance it with your worldly knowledge of the King of Pentacles where, you know, you have to get things sorted. And the King of Pentacles is, an, uh, is a busy energy and they don't just... They're, they're so stable that they not only provide for themselves, but they actually start to extend themselves to others and their providers. So um, there's two aspects within yourself, I think, Virgo, that's challenging you, if not two people. Now, let's look at your strength for the month of June 2023. We'll get three cards. What is Virgo's strength for the month of June 2023? What is Virgo's strength? All right, we already have two cards that flipped out. We have the five of pentacles, the two of cups. Now we'll draw one more card. And the lovers. Wow. Virgo. For the two of cups and the lovers, definitely there's a connection here. There's somebody important that you're dealing with. And... This connection is actually working in favor of you, in favor, in favor of you, you know, because this is in your strength position. Uh, mutual feelings, the two of cups. So if it's a friend that you have feelings for, whatever your feelings are, it's mutual, you know. And if you hate somebody, then it's mutual. But I don't think because it's, the two, I mean, that was a bad example. I'm sorry, but with the lovers and the two of cups, this is a soul connection. There's an angel here, there's an angel here, you know, I think, I think, Virgo, uh, I think there is a connection that's being protected by the divine. I usually don't get this, but I think it's the animation here in these cards and these angels are so cute. Um, they're so prominent. I think there's a connection that's being protected, but with the five of pentacles, there's distance between you and this person. I don't know how the distance came about, who went and for whatever reason, we, need to, we don't need to get into that, but this is a difficult energy, Virgo. We, we like acknowledge this, the five of pentacles. Um, this is also a card of extreme loyalty. So maybe Virgo, you're showing extreme loyalty towards someone in this month. You know, with the two of cups, the lovers, and the five of pentacles. But there is distance between you and this person. But know that, uh, you know, even though there is distance between you and this person, your connection is protected. And this connection is actually working as a driving factor for you in the month of June because it's showing up in your strength position. Now, Virgo, let's look at your hopes and fears. Uh, we get three cards. What are... what? Is Virgo's what are Virgo's hopes and fears for the month of June 2023 what are Virgo's hopes and fears for June 2023 whoa too many I'm sorry guys I have to put that back so two cards fell on the floor we have the four of wands and the nine of cups and I'll get one card from the top. We have seven of cups. So um, I think Virgo, you're overall hoping for 
for stability and peace you know with the nine of cups and the four of wands it's like someone waving the white flag in the house like even if there uh, there could, even if there are you know even if there is conflict with the five of wands because we have to acknowledge that you have this crossing your energy so even though there could be conflict with, with you and other people and you know you could be feeling mentally stuck but you're hoping for some kind of stability with with somebody if not with somebody just within yourself you know and uh, the seven of cups is just having options uh, or sometimes it can indicate confusion because there's too many options uh, so uh, uh, Virgo, there could be some, uh, I think you're fearing that there could be something going on at home which you may not be sure about, you know, there's a ghost and there's a snake that's sticking out here in, from the cabinet. So, uh, there's a dragon here. So, uh, You know, with the nine of cups and the four of wands, it's like, you see the, you see this figure, arms are crossed. So it's like, and the cups are on display. So like, it's showing like I'm fine and everything is good at home or, you know, I'm stable, but, but th there is some confusion, you know, and, uh, you know, you're fearing that, that there might be some confusion around this house, this home or your stability, if it is an office, because the four of wands can also indicate like just four walls. So it can be like an office space as well. All right, Virgo. Um, I'm just wondering why you have the seven of cups and what this confusion is about. I, I think Virgo, it, it is to do with this movement that you had, you know, this chariot. Because uh, there's con there was conflict around it and there could be some confusion about this and you're afraid that there could be some confusion about your stability or home when it comes to something in the month of June. Let's look at the potential outcome for you. What is Virgo's potential outcome for June 2023? The potential outcome is, is the potential, so it's not fixed. It could change depending on your free will and of those that you engage with. What is Virgo's potential outcome for the month of June 2023? Three cards fell out. Four cards. It's the Knight of, Knight of Swords. The Ten of Cups. Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. There's movement, uh, Virgo, Knight of Swords. But the thing is, you know, if you look at this, I mean, technically, if I were to say, you know, the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups, I'd say you're moving towards your happiness. But if you look at this visual here, this person on the horse, this knight on the horse is moving away from the Ten of Cups. So, I don't know, Virgo, you could be putting your own happiness on a back seat or on the back burner. I, I don't know why I feel like that. But, but know that there is potential for, you know, happiness and collaboration and a shift to occur whatever this is because this is what this is the potential outcome for the month of june like there's happiness there's getting you know working with other people expanding because threes are about expanding and um, you know sometimes it can even be you know collaborating with someone else if it's work related if it's a project, expansion of a project, you know, work or whatever. And, you know, there's potential travel. I mean, eight of wands signifies communication and shift. 
but this could also be travel because there are there are witches on this on these brooms so it's quite prominent but there is potential for travel collaboration and um, emotional fulfillment but but with the knight of swords facing the other way from all of this I think there is a potential that you might ignore all of this and go in some other direction. I'm not sure, Virgo, but that's the potential outcome and it could change depending on your decision, your free will and of those around you. So uh, Virgo, if, uh, if you're still watching, thank you so much. Um, thank you for watching, liking and subscribing and I hope this helped and I'll catch you soon again later. Bye.